Good morning, everyone. Happy Independence Day. This is Cal Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you begin your holiday. More storms are in the forecast today for eastern South Dakota after a tornado touched down near Tabor on Monday afternoon. Check out these photos sent in by viewers. You can see the formation of the tornado and where it touched down yesterday afternoon following severe weather. With the weather ramping up, people at campsites should be aware of what to do. Make sure to stay away from trees as wind can cause damage and harm. If the storm gets really bad, head to structurally sound buildings. If that isn't an option, a park ranger at Blue Mound State Park in Laverne says just getting out of the storm is the least you can do. In the worst case scenario, seeking shelter in a vehicle is advisable. Um, again, getting to a shelter building or a, a, a strong building is a, is a great idea. Um, and just keeping a monitor on the weather. The Kelloland Storm Tracker app is free to download for smart devices and will help you stay up to date on weather in your area. And for a look at storms that might pop up throughout the day, let's check in now with meteorologist Scott Mott. Well, we are following the showers and thunderstorms this morning in eastern and southeastern Kelloland. Uh, periods of heavy rain associated with these as they continue to move east and to the northeast. Things may redevelop later uh, this morning into the afternoon as our front stalls in southeastern South Dakota and southwestern Minnesota. So we've been mentioning periods of heavy rain this morning in parts of uh, eastern southeastern Kelloland. Rainfall amounts in excess of one approaching two inches or more. Our temperatures today looks like we'll have numbers in the 60s in western South Dakota, near 90 across the southeast. I'll have more details on your Kelloland Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. A convicted sex offender is in the Minnehaha County Jail, accused of offering children candy if they get inside his van. It allegedly happened outside of Central Sioux Falls store on Saturday afternoon. Some of the kids had uh, cell phones and had taken pictures of the guy, and so those were passed on to the officers. With the help of those pictures, police were able to identify and arrest 31-year-old Skylar Coleman. He's on the South Dakota Sex Offender Registry for a sex crime involving a child in Michigan. He's also on active parole in South Dakota. After a break-in that resulted in $2,000 of fireworks being stolen, Pyroholic Fireworks is offering a $1,000 cash prize and $2,000 worth of fireworks for anyone who can help identify the three suspects. An employee first discovered something was wrong when shattered glass was all over the ground. We want to re reward the good people in life. I mean, people may think that, you know, you don't, you don't want to tell on other people, but, you know, to keep a society safe and a town safe, we need to work together, and we would, we'd be more than happy to put out both a cash reward and uh, fireworks because, you know, who doesn't like blowing stuff up? It's the 4th of July. The break-in occurred around 2 a.m. Monday. If you know or have any information about the crime, you can call Crime Stoppers at 367-7007 or use the P3 Tips app. Victims of stolen vehicles are urging people to not leave a spare set of keys in your car. One couple caught the thief on their security camera stealing their truck. Car thefts are on the rise in Sioux Falls and police are aware of the situation. Public Information Officer Sam Clemens says the vast majority of stolen vehicles have keys that are left inside the car. Clemens says reports of stolen cars that have been hotwired are very rare in Sioux Falls. Instead, thieves are looking for easy targets. An archaeological dig at the Abbey Gardner Historic Site in Arnold's Park, Iowa, may have unearthed evidence of life from 2,000 years ago. An archaeologist and a team of students made an initial discovery. They are now hoping to find charcoal or a similar artifact that can be analyzed. The state archaeologist from Iowa said it's likely Native Americans lived in the area 2,000 and even 10,000 years ago. Ray Yost dug up details on the archaeological site. You can find them in a Kelloland.com original on our website. There will be all kinds of 4th of July activities taking over downtown Sioux Falls today. The fun run and walk starts at 7.30 at Fayette Park. Then the parade begins at 10 a.m. along Phillips Avenue from 13th Street to 6th Street. Lunch will then be served to the first 3,000 attendees at the Levitt at the Falls at 11 a.m. The Sioux Falls Municipal Band will play at the Levitt this afternoon, while the Six String Soldiers will play this evening. For a list of all 4th of July activities in Sioux Falls, you can check out a Kelloland.com original by Gracie Terrell. 
That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Scott. All right. Good morning, everybody. Showers, thunderstorms continue in eastern and southeastern Kettle Land for this morning. They are moving to the east and to the northeast. A lot of this uh, to the north of Sioux Falls, while into south central South Dakota, just south of the interstate. These continue to move east and to the northeast. Periods of heavy rain, a lot of lightning strikes associated with that one in and around Mitchell. As we do take a look at east central South Dakota and into northeastern Kettle Land, looking at the showers and thunderstorms with our Huron radar. Light activity north central into northeastern South Dakota for this morning. There is a slight risk for severe weather highlighted in yellow that covers eastern and southeastern Kettle Land. They'll take us through the evening. As you do take a look at Futurecast, it continues with the scattered showers and thunderstorms for the late morning hours and into the afternoon. A lot of that focused across southwestern Minnesota and into southeastern South Dakota. Maybe some general showers with mostly cloudy skies in western Kettle Land where temperatures will be stuck in the 60s for today. And then tomorrow looks like dry skies with much cooler air coming. So here's a closer look at what to expect in eastern and southeastern Kettle Land with those scattered showers and thunderstorms. I would say anywhere from Brookings, Marshall, and to the south as we go through the late morning and into the afternoon. Any of these storms that do develop probably will contain periods of heavy rain. We've already had reports of rainfall amounts in excess of an inch or two that covers eastern South Dakota. Temperatures this morning are in the 50s, 60s, and low 70s. We'll watch these numbers try to warm to near 90 in southeastern South Dakota. Cool day in western Kettle Land with temperatures in the 60s, 50s and 60s for lows tonight. And then for tomorrow, it's a cooler day. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s for afternoon highs. You can always check the details of the seven day forecast while you're here online. Have a great day.